Welcome to the revolution. We're all living through a time of revolution. The adoption of technology has accelerated in the last five years. The way people are buying, living, engaging with the world is all online now. You got remote workers, nomad workers, you order online, you read online, you consume your entertainment online, you make friends online. And this can only accelerate. And you know what revolutions bring with them? They break down what is, perfect or imperfect, and enable the impossible. Many businesses have evolved. They've adopted the impossible, changed themselves, evolved. Some have broken down and new come up. You got the Ubers and the Airbnbs. You got YouTube dislodging most entertainment industry as the primary source for people's entertainment now. You got social media. Now you, this stuff you can't deny. And why am I talking about all of this stuff? Is because all of this change hasn't happened in the education industry. And I now feel that the impossible is absolutely possible. Because for the last 20 years I've been in this industry, all I see changes happen is kids have now have cell phones. The teachers now instead of teaching on a whiteboard, maybe use an iPad or a projector. That's the maximum elevation I've seen in education. This is not enough. Because we are educating our young adults for a world that we don't know what it looks like. Education for too long has been about conformity, has been about test exams. What do kids ask me in my class for? Is this coming in the test? Is this coming in the exam? And that's all we've been doing with education. We've been teaching to the tests, to the exams, to the things we can measure. That's might have been that might have been enough for the last generation, you know, through the industrial revolution and the and, and the work we've been doing. But this is not enough for the future. The future requires our children to be agile adaptable to society, be creative, collaborate with others. It requires us to teach them skills that we are not teaching them in school right now. And for far too long, I thought, you know what? Because we can't fix it, let it be like this. But now that the, the change is upon us, I'd see it possible. The, the things that we thought were impossible is are absolutely possible. Because the problem is with these test-based education systems. They kill all creativity out of you. You end up learning alone. You end up competing with friends who are via, instead of collaborating. You become a conformist. You follow orders without questioning them. That's not what the society needs now. You need people to think creat critically, creatively. We don't do any of that in the classroom. And it's far too long that I see dejected faces in my class. These kids come to my class, they, aren't, they don't want to be there. They don't want to learn because there's nothing to learn. They're just learning for exams and that doesn't excite them day on, day out. But sadly, that's what the reality is we have right now.